There are a lot of countries that are way bigger than most of us might have realized. You know, we're all so used to seeing the world like this. This map is what you get when you take the surface of a sphere, like the Earth, and convert it to a cylinder that can be rolled out as a flat map. It's called a Mercator projection, and it became the standard map projection for navigation because it was unique in representing north as up and south as down everywhere. There's just one kinda hidden side effect. You see, while this map is great for preserving local directions and shapes, it has a huge problem with scale. Because the map is conformal and shows true north and south as up or down no matter where you are, it inflates the size of objects away from the equator. This inflation is very small near the equator, but accelerates with increasing latitude to become infinite at the poles. As a result, landmasses such as Greenland, Antarctica, Canada and Russia appear far larger than they actually are, compared to landmasses near the equator, such as Central Africa, Brazil and Indonesia. And to really show just how far from reality this map is, let's take a look at Greenland. You see, with an area of about 2.2 million square kilometers. It's about four and a half times smaller than the United States that has an area of 9.8 million square kilometers. But that can't be true. I mean, surely when you look at the map, Greenland seems to be about the same size as the US, or maybe even a bit bigger. Well, if you thought so, I'd hate to disappoint. But if we move Greenland down so it's on top of the United States, the scale distortion of the Mercator projection really becomes visible. Another example is Russia, which actually by far is the largest country in the world with an area of 17. 1 million square kilometers, almost double the size of its closest competitor, which is Canada, at roughly 10 million square kilometers. But despite its enormous size, when moved closer to the equator, Russia suddenly doesn't appear as gigantic anymore. These examples are pretty common though, and that's why in this video I'm gonna visualize the insane scale of some countries in a way that'll really put some perspective to your perception of the world we all live in. Anyway, let's get started. This is Indonesia, home to over 270 million people and made up of about 18,000 islands spread over a distance of around 5,100 kilometers from east to west. And to put that in context, let's compare it to something you're familiar with. The contiguous United States is only about 4,600 kilometers from east to west, thereby being about 500 kilometers shorter than Indonesia. And from a European perspective, this is how big it is, stretching all the way from Ireland to Kazakhstan. Another country which size surprised me even more though is this mid-African country called the Democratic Republic of Congo, or the DRC. It's located right on top of the equator, which means that it appears kinda small, when in reality it's absolutely huge. You could easily fit the relatively large European countries of France, Germany, Poland and Italy inside of it all at once. And if you compare it to Europe or North America, you start to realize how large it actually is. But it's nothing compared to the next country, which is, of course, Brazil. Oh yes, with over 200 110 million people, Brazil is a melting pot of cultures, languages and religions. From its vibrant colorful cities to its vast countryside, Brazil is a country full of culture and diversity. Oh, and I shouldn't forget to mention the approximately 4 million square kilometers of the Amazon rainforest which covers about 40% of the country. And with an area of 8.5 million square kilometers, Brazil is roughly 5% bigger than the contiguous United States. And it's not just bigger in terms of area. The largest city in Brazil, Sao Paulo, is home to around 12.4 million people. That's over 3 million people more than New York City. Hey, you probably didn't know that, right? But what you might know though is that the country Chile is the tallest country in the world. And by tallest, I mean the distance from north to south. Definitely not by average height. But hey, Chile is actually almost 4,300 kilometers tall. And to put that into perspective, here's Chile on top of Europe. It stretches all the way from southern Spain to the northernmost point of Norway. And as a European myself, I can confirm that that would be something of a road trip. It also makes my country feel really insignificant. Anyway, what defines if a country is big? Is it really just the geographical area? There are tons of examples of geographically small countries that have a lot of influence and power to make a big impact on the rest of the world. Let's look at South Korea. Geographically, it looks scarily similar to Ireland, but it's home to 51 million people, whereas Ireland only has a population of 5 million. The same thing could be said about a country like Bangladesh. With an area similar to the state of Iowa, but a population 20% larger than Russia, it's one of the most densely populated countries in the world. And that leads me to this. You know, you've probably heard this before, but Inside this relatively small circle in Asia lives more than half of the world's population. As of September 2022, 4.2 billion people live inside this circle, out of 8 billion in total. The thing is that the circle only represents about 6.7% of the Earth's total surface area, but it includes the entirety of the world's two most populous countries, namely China and India, which, when combined, is home to almost 2.9 billion people. On top of that, the circle includes a lot of smaller countries that, when combined, makes up for the remaining 
remaining 1.3 billion people. From a western perspective this is mind blowing and it's crazy to think that this really is the center of human population. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This was my first video and I spent upwards of 50 hours making it so I'd really hope you enjoyed it and if so I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Again thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.